Hi everyone, Steve Sirico for Dance Teacher Web, and I have Jenna here to assist and demonstrate. And we're going to do a little sequence using extended leg pirouette that you can use into a fuete and a little some other fun stuff that we're going to add with it. Now with these uh, turn sequences, the idea is, is you can use part of it, all of it, and just insert it right into your choreography anywhere you'd like. So this could be a little bit more of a contemporary or lyrical type feel to it, but you can jazz it up any way you want. So I'm gonna have Jenna demonstrate it and then we'll break it down and we'll talk about some tips that I give my students that uh, I'd like to share with you. All right, Jenna, so let's take it away. And she's gonna start with the extended leg, fuete down, extend that leg, a little compass contraction, and fan kick, reach and down. Very nice, very nicely done. All right, so there was all kinds of fun stuff in there, so let's just break it down to start. So we're gonna uh, do our preparation just like we're doing a regular jazz pirouette, and then from there, as they start to unfold, right, they're going to take that and immediately take their leg into an extended leg pirouette. So instead of going to passe, that leg's gonna be extended. So let's just do that part. So she's going to turn, that's it. And then from right that, in that position, she's gonna do a little plie, and she did a fuete, and that fuete then went into coupe, and in coupe she did a little press down and went down into the floor with her turn, yeah? So let's just do those two parts, Jenna, for a second. So she does the extended leg, fuete, press down, that's it. All right, so we want, when, when our students are doing that, and you'll notice Jenna a little bit sat in her hip, we want to, it, it's tricky, so as they go down, they want to be centered, pressing down into the floor, really engaging the core as they go down, and really pushing that passe out in, in the coupe position. And then let's just get into that position, Jenna. So you're down, from here, they're gonna take their leg, they're gonna do a little rond de jambe, and that action is gonna take her right into the compass turn. And then as she came out of the compass turn, she was gonna to start to contract, taking the arms in and then lifting up. So let's just do the compass turn into that again. So she steps, compass and lift. Step, step, through, yes? All right, just do that one more time, Jen, and keep going. So we're gonna do compass turn, contract, lift, Step, step, fan kick, reaching down to the floor, and again, reach. All right, so let's just go through that sequence there for one second. So we do the, we do the compass turn, just get into your position as you're doing the compass. So right from here, right, that arm is gonna be coming, and this, this action helps give them momentum. And then as she's coming out of that, she's gonna contract, and then lift up, and then from here, two steps, into the fan kick, let's stop right there. Now, she's gonna take this arm and really reach and lean back. This foot, we wanna make sure our students go onto the instep so they don't bang their knee, and then reach as she finishes. Very nicely done. So Jenna, let's do the entire sequence one time, but let's face the back so they get that view of the back. So again, we have extended leg pirouette, into the fuete, step, reach, lift, step, step, fan, reach, and finish. Very nicely done, very, very nicely. All right, so there you go, a little turn sequence using extended leg pirouette into our fuete. And again, any part of this you can use, just dissect it. You may wanna even mix it up a little bit, but the idea of these turn sequences, again, are just to give you a little bit of creative inspiration, that little bit of spark that you can add to your choreography or to your class tonight. All right, enjoy.